All right, guys, so right now I'm in a city called Oberhausen. It's near Köln in Germany, and I'm at a Harley Davidson dealership. But this is no ordinary dealership because this one is called Thunderbike, and they are Europe's number one bike customizers. And they have won championships all over Europe and probably around the world because of the things that they have been building around Harley Davidson. So let's go inside and have a look at what amazing stuff they have inside the showroom. a person that will help me show you the amazing thing, the amazing stuff that's going on here inside Thunderbike. And here is Thomas. Hello. Hi, Sunny. Uh, thank Hi. you so How much you? for inviting me here. You know, this is the first time I'm actually inside a Harley Davidson dealership, Thomas. And uh, I'm looking at these motorcycles and I'm going like, yeah, of course, you have been winning a lot of world championships and, you know, championships, stuff like that. So, uh, can you tell me how did Thunderbike start and when it started? Yeah, Thunderbike starts in uh, 1985. Mm -hmm. Our boss in a small barn mm -hmm. making some motorcycle repairs and yeah. sales. And uh, yeah, in the last uh, 37 years, we grew up to the company that we now are. Yeah. So, over 100 employees and Harley Davidson dealership since 2006, before we were wow. 20 years Suzuki dealer. So, you know, if we walk here, maybe a little bit, you can see how big this is and how how much space do you have? Usually in showrooms, we don't have too much space, like, you know? Yeah. So you have made it so big. And I think you also have cafe here. You also have a servicing bay. And you also make all of your parts here. Yes, right? sure. For you, the custom motorcycles. I can show you later if you want. Yeah. 1,700 square meters showroom. Oh, wow. That's so, huge. Yeah. That's huge. Why? Harley Davidson. Why not all the brands, other brands? Yeah, Harley Davidson is, is it's in Germany we say cult. It's uh, the customizing make number one in the world. Yeah. And we made a lot of custom parts for Suzuki and mm. Yamahas mm. in former times. And in the early 2000s, we uh, yeah, made our minds how to go on, how to grow, how to make it better, yeah. bigger, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we started with the Harley Davidson custom parts. A lot of competitors, mm. and, um, but we wanted to make, make it our own look, our own style. Mm. We ever had our own parts and bikes that we built yeah. um, with our own brand, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we make it to look a Harley like a Thunder bike. Like this one is stock, right? This one is stock, This yeah. one is stock, of course. But let me show you one of the first bikes that they had made which is standing right over there. Am I right? Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of our special bikes that we built. We placed first in Sturgis in 2012 with this bike. It's based on an old Ironhead Sportster and everything around is handmade. How do you even... Lots of details, lots of yeah. hours spent to make every single bolt perfect. I, I don't know where to begin, like how to... How do you actually start designing? You know, first you make on paper, then CAD. Yeah. And then yeah, you yeah, do machining yeah. and everything. Is that yeah, how sure. you do it? That's exactly how we do it, yeah. Oh, wow. So this one is called Paintless? Paintless. Began in 2011. Okay. And then we go to Sturgis in 2012. All the metal work is handmade. Okay. And if you do not finish it with a paint, but with a nickel plate, cannot uh, hide hmm. anything, any faults yeah. or something. So yeah. it has to be perfect in the machine wow. and the uh, handwork. And, and this line here, is it done by hand? Yes, sure. Yeah, like they do in Royal Enfields yeah. in the factory. This is like a work of art, truly. I mean, this is like a jewelry on two wheels. Amazing. I mean, I, I don't have more adjectives, but you know, you can just open up the dictionary and whatever, you know, you want comes to your mind, you can say, but yeah, really look at this shifter. This is the clutch. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow, this is nice. So you have to reprogram your brain a little bit while, while yeah. riding it. Someone who would probably ride this 
would be an Egyptian god or, or you know Musa Musa he was the richest man in history he would write something like this and uh, it's like looks like it's made of gold and silver I can show one of our milestone bikes this, yeah. uh, over there yeah gives us a chance to walk through this showroom you can jog through it like you know it's so big <laughs> So these three bikes wow. are also special bikes that we built. The first bike that we built with the Harley Davidson engine um, in 2006, we called it Spectacular. Yeah, I was reading that Spectacular, yeah. So and everything is hidden. You see, don't see any lines, any cables, any wiring, nothing. Really, you know, spellbound. Um, this is really craftsmanship at the highest level. You know, it's like translating something on paper which is supposed to be like in a movie or something you know it looks like you know like a sword or like a blade like an, a gladiator or a ninja <laughs> wood you know wood wield it's something like that it's so sleek so many sharp lines here i mean you can literally chop off someone's yeah. leg but it's all this. functional and so this that. is this is the throttle yeah this is a brake yeah front and rear yeah on the other side you have the shifting and the clutch okay. on the handlebar these tires, obviously, you know, these are special tires. I mean, uh, these are basically production tires, right? Yeah. So we did we did a few project bikes with uh, prototype tires okay. in former times, but uh, normally we use uh, production tires. Production tires to to make it, uh, yeah, to have it ready for the customers at the end. So one question: Do you make the bikes to be ridden, or do you make the bikes to be placed as? pieces which are supposed to be admired. Okay, these bikes are not made for riding or yeah. anything. Yeah. They are drivable, but mm. this is a show bike. Yeah, and show all bike. the other bikes that we built, we um, yeah, built for driving, sure. And uh, who are your customers, like normally? What kind of people? We, most of the people that want us to build a custom bike for, for them are people that want to have something special, something unique, to make their own bike. Mm. To have a special thing in the garage. So I know for a fact that you built a bike for someone who had a Lamborghini. Walked this is the, the bike showroom. we're talking about? Yeah. When I walked into the showroom, this bike caught my attention. Let's start with this, you know, here. So you see that Lamborghini insignia, that is actually a, an official one. I don't, I, I'm not allowed to say. No, you're not allowed <laughs> to say. I, I got the answer. Yeah, we built it um, next to the Lamborghini, yes, with the same color, the same paint. Brake calipers, like the Lamborghini. Look at, look at this. We produce these kind of monoblock wheels yes. out of a massive block of aluminum. Yeah. Over 400 kilograms, mm -hmm. we put in the machine. Okay. And when the wheel is ready, we have about roughly 10 kilograms when the wheel is so ready. This is like around 10, 12. Yeah. yeah. So this is this paint actually goes on the Lamborghini? Yeah. As well? I know. Oh, wow. That's nice. And look at the seats and everything, you know. It's like... So this bike is actually owned by a person, but yeah. he's keeping this bike over here. And I think this is the place to keep such a motorcycle. Yeah, we can show it to the customers. And yeah. And what about that It's one? worth to be shown. Of course, of course. Not yeah. to hide it in no, some no, garage no. or whatever. And, and what about this one? It's Dyna Street Pop. Okay. That we customized totally mm -hmm. with the same wheel sizes, like 21 inch in the back. Yeah. 26 wide tire mm -hmm. and 23 inch in the front. Mm -hmm. And also here the paint is special and all the golden parts are really with real gold layers. What other bikes have won championships here, which are here? Unbreakable. Unbreakable, we, okay. It's European champion in 2013. It looks like chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Unbreakable. So why do you call it unbreakable? Like any, any particular reason you give them these kind of names? Yeah, because it is it is a one-off bike. It's really in 2013. All the all the metal parts are handmade, mm -hmm. and all the machine parts are very very special okay. and difficult to produce. Yeah. In the I'm sure in every bike, but this is like crazy. This looks like a spine of a uh, of an animal, like a dinosaur or something, or a lizard. And a lot of things, you know, a lot of different interpretations you can have. You know, when you start looking at a motorcycle, and I, for the first time. I'm looking at this color, like it's like copper, bronze, chocolateish kind of a color. And these resemble the fin, fins on the engine. Basically. Yeah, we want to show it again and again on the, all over the bike here, underneath the seat, wheels, engine. 
So this is, of course, this is not exactly handmade, right? This is done by machines. Yeah, the, the metal parts are handmade, like the frame, the tank, the fenders, okay. and all the aluminum parts, triple trees, front end, all the wheels and pulleys are made on the machines. Okay. What about electronics? Do they, does it have any kind of electronics? Yes, we use the original Harley-Davidson harnesses. Okay. All the wiring is original Harley-Davidson. Okay. So it's fuel injected. And rider aids, like, I think ABS not there, ABS, or traction no. control, no? Okay, yeah, of course, it's a show bike and uh, it can be ridden, but of course, I won't take it on the road if I don't. No. Yeah, this is uh, called Open Mind. Open Mind. Open Mind. Okay. And we built this bike in 2008. Okay. Also for the World Championship in Sturgis. Not very comfortable, this seat, but no. good looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like bronze and uh, so beautiful. Look at this. Why can't other people make something like this? I mean, of course, you know. I think there are other people who can do like this, but um, yeah, we what do it for over 30 bike? years. So it's the experience, no. or is it the technology or the machines? Everything, everything. everything. Yeah. Together. Together. Yeah. Together. All the employees, everything, everybody is working on the bike every day, on the bikes and with a heart. Yeah. So we are all bikers. So that's the reason why we are so successful, I think. So if I approach you as a customer and if I have, a, for example, let's say uh, I have a Hayabusa, for example. Yeah. Will you work on that or no? No. Only no. Harley Davidson. Only Harley Davidson. And yes. I have to buy the Harley Davidson from here? No. no I can get my no. own. You can get your own. Yeah. And what's the turnaround time usually? Like six months, one year, depends it on the bike. It depends on the bike and on the customization, yeah. but three to six months is, is a is, is time okay. yeah. So yeah, we can go to the uh, place where you actually... Yeah, uh, the parts, I will show you. Parts Come with get me. Birth. Yeah. So this is the custom bike workshop. Oh, okay. We have a service workshop. Mm -hmm. This is the custom and bike. Separated, and this is only where we do the custom bike. Wow. So this, this is what, 10, 12 kgs? Yeah, this is a little bit more heavy, ah, this is heavy because yeah. of the m spokes. You're bigger than <laughs> many big showrooms, yes, is what I can sure. say. The uh, overall size is much bigger, yeah. Funny, here's uh, the place where we produce all the parts. Yeah. And we really do everything here in the house. The wheels. This is like ultra, ultra professional. I mean, look at this. Even big companies, they don't have something like this. And this is, for example, this is one of the blocks that we use oh. for the wheels. So this is the block, guys, that actually the machines work on to make the the whole alloy and the wheel. So this is amazing. I mean, I never knew it, they were made like this. I had yeah, an idea, but I never seen myself, you know, it's like <laughs> yeah, It's sculpting. not made from cast aluminum. Mm -hmm. This is billet aluminum and totally milled. It's crazy. Okay. Jesus Christ. So what is exactly is happening right now inside? Okay, this is a five axle lathe. Mm -hmm. Where, you, where we in the milling machine mm -hmm. and actually we produce such spaces. So it's basically it's 3D printing in, in sort of a way. It's just sculpting. Yeah. Whatever you want from the computer, it will in be. In machine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is for the uh, turn signals for oh. the indicators. Look at this. So light, and uh, so you make it here, right? Obviously, yeah, this machine sure. has made it. Yeah, no, this machine. This machine. Yeah. Guys, this is crazy. And you can make any design, obviously. Yes. And what about what about the the paint? We don't do the paint in house. So okay. we we only the only surfaces that we do is polishing. Yeah. And all other, like powder coating, anodizing, paint, yeah. we give out outsourced. So, outsourced. So there are a lot of specialists that can do it much yeah. better than we. And hand, uh, hand, hand painting, paint brush and all this kind of yeah. things. That's nice. So guys, I mean, uh, there's a quick tour of uh, Thunder Bike. And, uh, and I hope you know, a lot of people in India and everywhere else, they get a little bit inspired 
you don't need such a big facility you know to make something extraordinary no you can also do it in a small garage stuff like that is sky is the limit and that is all i can say anything else you want to add uh, thomas Nice to meet you. Same here. Uh, yeah. Good to have you here. Yeah. And to show you everything. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I can say is uh, to all the guys outside is, uh, you build your own motorcycles. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what you have, if it's a Suzuki, Yamaha, mm. Harley Davidson, yeah. BMW, build your own motor motorcycles in your own garage and yeah. go out for a ride. There are a lot of people here, there in India also. They want to start up their own uh, customizing companies. So. Here's your chance to get some inspiration, you know, if you come to Germany, maybe you can uh, do some internship under them, you never know. You know, you can learn a lot of things and go back to India and start something. But uh, thank you so much, Thomas. Thanks to Thunderbike Customs for showing it around. And uh, of course, my mind is blown and I can't wait for the next Intermot where, you know, you get to see a lot of uh, different bike uh, customized motorcycles. And that is happening after a gap of two years here in Germany in Köln. So do come here and right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.